be Kyle and welcome to your prime time core homework assignment for this week. We're going to start off, we have um, four exercises to do. We're going to start off on our back. So again, roll over onto your side and roll onto your back. We're going to go into tabletop with a head lift, again holding for 25 seconds. So again, I want you to remember how to breathe, expand, push out, contract, bring that belly button to the spine. So your arms are down by your side, your palms are up, your shoulders are nice and relaxed. You're going to inhale to prepare, exhale, bring those legs up to tabletop, feet are flexed, toes are spread. You're going to inhale, exhale, bring the head and shoulders off the mat. And we're going to hold this position for 25 seconds. Now remember to make it a little more difficult, you can push those knees past those hips. If you start to feel any pain in that lower back, just bring those knees back. So here we are. Make sure your chin is off your chest and you're holding and you're breathing like I told you. Expand and contract. Expand and can that contract? You got it for three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, lower the head and shoulders to the mat. Inhale, exhale, lower the feet to the mat in three, two, and one. Now you're going to repeat that exercise three times. The next exercise we're going into is a chest press with the, with the green band. So you're going to put it behind your back, underneath your, underneath your armpits, and in your thumbs and hand. I hold below the handles. You're going to bend your knees and roll it and scoot them back towards your bottom. You're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, come up into a bridge pose. So you're lifting those hips off the mat. Your knees are together. Then you're going to inhale, exhale, and do a chest press. Chest press. Notice my elbows are straight out to the side. They're going straight over my shoulders. And you're going to inhale and exhale. You're going to do 15 reps. Here's number four and five. You're going to inhale down, exhale up, six, keeping those hips up as high as you can, seven. Here's eight, and nine, and ten. Let's do five more, and five, four, push those hips up, three, two, and one. Bring those arms down slowly, bring those hips down to the floor. Again, I want you to pre repeat that exercise three times. You're then going to come up over into your hands and knees. You're going to tuck those toes up, place the band around your arches. So you may want to take your socks off if you have your socks on. And then you're going to come into all fours. So your knees are shoulder width apart. Your arms are, are shoulder width apart. You're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, extend that right arm forward like an opposite arm, opposite leg. And hold it. And then inhale, exhale, extend that left arm up and hold for three, two, three. One and back down. Then you're going to inhale, exhale, extend that right leg straight back for three, two, one, and bring it down. And then inhale, exhale, left, left leg straight back and hold it down for three, two, one. Now, if that's challenging, stop there and do that exercise three times. If you want to add a little bit of challenge to your routine, you can do opposite arm, opposite leg with this band. So you're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, extend that right arm and left leg right towards the wall. Hold it for three, two, one, bring it back to center. And then inhale, exhale, left arm, right leg straight out and hold it for three, belly button in, two, one, and bring it back to center. Now what I would like you to do is do that five times on each side. All right, you don't have to do the advanced move. If you're not doing the advanced move, just do the arm arm, leg, leg sequence, and do that three times. All right, the last one is plank, which we do in class, but I want to take it up to 25 seconds. So I want you to get down onto your forearms, onto your knees. You're going to inhale to prepare. Curl those toes under, making sure those shoulders are over those elbows. Inhale, exhale, bring it up on into plank. Again, you can be on your knees, and even if you're on your knees, I want you to pull those shoulder blades away from the spine. Again, we're holding 25 seconds, so I want you to expand and contract, and expand, and contract. If you're on your toes, push through those heels, keep that nose down to the mat, and breathe. And you're gonna hold it for 25 seconds, we're almost there. You have five, four, three, two, and one. And go ahead and bring those knees back down. Again, you're gonna do three sets of the plank for 25 seconds each. I really want you to work on the shoulder stretching this week, so I really want you to keep your palm up and do one shoulder stretch, and take that arm across the body with your shoulder down. And I want you to hold it in this position for 20 to 30 seconds. So you're going to hold it, you're going to breathe, and you're just going to feel the stretch in those deltoids all the way down the, to the tricep. 
And then you're going to release it, shake out that arm, and then bring that right one across the body with that palm up, shoulder down, and hold that arm in place for 20 seconds. That will really release some of the tension in the shoulder. We're also working on chest and back and our posture. So again, the last stretch I want you to do is hands behind your head. You're going to inhale your elbows together, or exhale your elbows together. Inhale, open up that chest. Breathe nice and deep, and then exhale, bring those elbows back together again. Tucking your chin to your, to your chest. Open it up. And last one, exhale it back down. And then release. All right, so you're going to do the shoulder stretch and the chest and back stretch, each of those exercises three times. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at cindy at shapeitnaturally.com. But have a great weekend, and see you on the mat.